My name is Jens Volkmann. I'm a professor of neurology at the University of Würzburg in Germany, and I've been involved in the field of DBS actually since almost the beginning uh, of DBS. <laughs> well, um, DBS has been referred to as a brain pacemaker, um, and I think that's quite a good description of what DBS does. It is retuning brain circuits by pacing them. It's very critical for DBS um, to be um, explained to a patient at the right moments within the disease and, and then to make a referral decision together with the patient uh, to a surgical center at the right moment uh, where the patient can still benefit best uh, from that kind of therapy. Well, you know, ideally they should be involved because, I mean, it, uh, it's, it's a, um, any kind of therapy uh, in Parkinson's disease is elective, which means that um, the patient has to basically opt for different ways of treating a disease that will be chronic and is particularly impacting on quality of life. And quality of life is a very subjective issue. Um, some patients may have or experience an excellent quality of life uh, with pump therapies, for example. Others may experience uh, quality of life only with a fully implantable device, such that um, patient counseling, advice, and also understanding of what a patient requires in terms of improvement or quality of life is paramount, and the patient has to partner the physician in that kind of decision. Well, they, when they come to a consultation at a specialty center, they're usually quite well informed. Um, but um, the decision process before, uh, which usually takes place at a local referral level, um, at that point, patients are much less informed. And, and very often, they're not aware of um, the right timing of DBS. That's one of the particular problems that um, a lot of patients consider to be, uh, DBS to be a last resort therapy and they wait too long and they, um, they basically miss an opportunity of uh, having a better quality of life much earlier in their course of disease.